Hi, everybody. Welcome to Bulletproof Underwear, episode number 190. <laughs> I'm your co host, Yam Juice. And I'm your co host, Ozzy Osbourne, the Prince of Fucking Darkness. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what what up, Smexy Flexy? Not much. Oh well, we tried to get a guest for you. I thought we were going to have a, a Frozen Sword on here, but uh, I guess he had to study for a test because his grades weren't good. You scrub. <laughs> Anyhow, we're just going to hold down the fort. Just, just, just us two. Just us two. You get an intimate little conversation with just just us ain't that right that's right yeah so so let's see what's it's tuesday night and the republicans are doing their caucus right now and nobody knows any of the results yet but you know of course trump is going to stomp everybody yeah don will win the donald i saw that uh I saw that his wife, he, he tweeted out, uh, I started following him on Twitter just because, who knows. Uh, he says his wife is going to be on Morning Joe tomorrow, interviewed. Oh, really? Yeah, she's a hottie. Have you seen pictures of her? I've seen a video of her. Yeah. Did you know she has naked pictures on the internet? <clears throat> I was not aware of that, but now I am. Saw so it investigated to its fullest extent. Can, can you imagine that? It's like, say that uh, Trump becomes president. She'd be like the first first lady to have nudes on the internet. Yeah. Well, if you don't count the the, the senior, you know, uh, Mrs. Bush, Barbara Bush. Yeah, doing her thing. There's some... <sighs> yeah. Yeah, Frozen Sword is apologizing... <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There's a there's a picture of her. Uh, you know, she's uh, she's going down on a horse uh, and giving a donkey a hand job. And uh, yeah, I'm sure it's real. Right, right. And meanwhile, you know, George Bush Senior Senior is titty fucking her. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that is so uncalled for. That is so uncalled for it's kind of shit that happens when we left you alone on your own devices that's right yeah we should uh we should show more respect for the former you know first lady fuck that who cares she's yeah. a bag now you know every every couple you know uh gets naughty at some point and takes like some polaroids or something back in the day you know do you think hillary do you think there's any like like dirty pictures of uh, Bill and Hillary. Did you see what she used to look like back in the day? Would you take well, pictures of that? Well, she was never. She was never a, f a flaming beauty, but she <clears throat> wasn't super horrible, you know, when she was young. Yeah. I mean, I don't definitely, know. Definitely, uh, Bill must have married her for reasons other than lust. He was Slick Willie. That's right. That's right. So do you think he's been, uh, you know, getting a little something on the side the entire time he's been married or just like when he was president? Entire time. I, that's what I think, too. That's what I think. He's probably... Once a cheater, always a cheater. Yep. Well, see, that's, you know, that's what we loved about Bill. You know, he had, he was a man of strong appetites. He was sick with he. I mean, uh, don't 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 you have to you know admire a guy who, you know, he was slick, man. Ah! We gotta get you an Aussie hand puppet. Would that be cool? Yeah. <laughs> Just like take a take the head off of a a bat. Ah. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, the. Uh, the uh, Vegas caucus is going on right now. So I was in a conversation uh, uh, last night or the night before with uh, that Tej. 
who's been on the show before. He's uh, he lives and works in Las Vegas at one of the casinos. He said Hillary was staying at the casino that that he works at. Well, really? Yeah, yeah. I was trying to get more dirt out of him, but he said, "Hey, he's got to be careful. You know, just like he can't he can't talk too much about the guests." Right. I keep getting these little dinky doos. Dinky. Man. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so apparently he's he's going to be on the show next week. So uh, we've got that teach. Uh, if, you, uh, if you're looking for some interesting uh, stuff, we've got Vegas Stories with uh, Gamer. He's he's a Smite player. He's a Halo player. He's a, he's a pal of ours. And uh, la- laconic sense of humor is what he's got. Yep. Always like a laconic dude. <laughs> so let's see what's happening in the wild world of gaming. Like you played the uh, <coughs> the thing, the thing. What was that thing? I played a little bit of the Division beta. Not much. Not with anybody else, like a dumbass, because everybody had a good time except for me. <laughs> but we won't get into why I didn't play. Life well, gets in the way. Life gets in the way sometimes, but you did get a chance to try it out. Yeah, I liked it. I thought it was cool. So, uh, does it does it does the, are the movements smooth and does like does the way the shooting mechanics work? Everything feel mechanics good? mechanics feel good to me. If you got headshots, you got a kill on first shot. You know, it's a pretty nice. Cool. It comes pretty- out. Pretty good for a beta. I didn't play the. I honestly don't know. I didn't play the multiplayer, but I know a lot of the guys did, and uh, they had a. It sounds like they had a really good time. So that's the dark zone, right? The division. Yeah, that's what. Isn't that what they call the the multiplayer? The dark. The zone? dark zone is the multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so looking for that game on March the eighth, which is Tuesday, so you can download it. And, you know, uh, midnight on the seventh Monday. Yep. Which is exactly <clears throat> two weeks from today as we speak. All right. And then, uh, oh, wow, Daylight Savings Time is coming up pretty soon. I always look forward to that. Yep. More light. Yeah. Now, Halo had a drop today, or uh, was it yesterday? I don't know. It's like... I couldn't get on Xbox last night. I tried to get on Xbox last night. The fucking thing was shut down solid. I mean, you could not do jack shit on it. Live was shut down. It was like, it was trending on Twitter. There was articles was about it on, on IGN. Yep. Yep. So it was seriously down. I think, you know, I read somewhere that it was a DDoS attack. It was pretty long. They were down for at least 12 hours. Yeah. That's a pretty big edge. Fuck. That shouldn't that shit shouldn't happen. I mean, come on. In this day and age. Don't they have some sort of defense for that kind of crap? I mean, you know, it's like like whatever the government uses to control the you know, the nuclear codes or whatever, like get some of that. Yeah. <laughs> nuclear code software for Microsoft. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So there's some sort of a Halo drop here. They're uh, releasing, you know, uh, some new Warzone weapons and uh, and then a new map. I, I heard some people liked it, and I heard some people didn't like it. But I haven't had a chance to try it yet. But I'm eager. Eager. I'm an eager beaver. <sighs> yeah. You look Speaking tired. I am mean, tired. Uh, eager beaver. I am a little tired. You know, I'm drinking this uh I'm drinking this fizzy water. I should be uh I should be hitting the old caffeine. <laughs> fizzy water. So speaking of DLCs, uh Call of Duty, uh, they they still haven't had their first DLC out on the on the Xbox, have they? No. So the the PS4 folks have been playing it. Yeah. I have I've played it. I played it just today. All right. Now, you sort of wonder, is like, 
if you're if you're on a system that gets it like a month later, by the time it comes out, do you even care? I mean, it's like you've been seeing it, people playing it on YouTube, and uh, you're you know you talk to people who have played it. It's like I don't know. It seems like it kind of takes away the desire to mess with it. I don't know. On these games where they where they they give the, they give you the DLC at different times. I mean, it's understandable they got an arrangement. Obviously, PS4 was willing to pay more than Microsoft this time around, but I don't know. It's like I hate that. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's stupid. It is stupid. And always, you know, it's like Xbox always was on the good side of that in years past. You know, they always got the DLC first, but I still thought it was stupid because it, like, the hype, if you are going to get the DLC and you're excited and and everything for it, the hype isn't as big because only one side is getting it. It's like if everybody was getting it and you actually had some interest in the hype, well, then it would be, yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I don't like that exclusivity shit. Right. Well, I wish people on PlayStation could play Halo. I really do. I wish they could play it. Yeah, well, what do you do? They can't. So look at that. There you have it. You can't play Nathan Drake on Xbox either, so. That's right. They got to pick and choose. Which is, of course, why... The PC Master Race people, Dell just tweeted me, you know, just earlier tonight, just to try and take up first-person shooters on the mouse and keyboard. I'm like, I have enough humiliation in my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my reflexes are too slow to use a mouse and keyboard anymore. I would probably accidentally, you know, sign up for Reader's Digest or something, you know. It's like click the wrong <laughs> button. <laughs> hey, but you can't win if you don't sign up. That's right. Can you, you can't imagine? Win if you can't sign up. Before he died, if Ed McMahon wanted to really have some fun jacking with people, he could just get a bouquet of balloons and just go to any door. And a mic in the other hand to just go to any door in America, knock on the door, stand there. It's Ed McMahon, and he's got the balloons. It's like, oh my God, I just won a million dollars. <laughs> Ed McMahon. It's like, uh, hi, do you know how to get to Route 6 from here? It's like, oh, <laughs> fuck, I thought I was rich. <laughs> Shit, million dollars ain't rich anymore. Well, that's I would pocket take money. It. I would take it. How much do you got to have to be rich nowadays? A billion. Oh, come on now. That's a billion. You, you, you can be rich with less than a billion. I couldn't. I'd be a rich motherfucker. A billion. Okay. Here's the definition of how much it takes to be rich. How much does a hooker and a supply of coke for one night cost? Multiply that by the rest of your life. If you could afford a hooker and a supply of cocaine every single night for the rest of your life, then you're rich. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Rich in certain ways. Hookers and blow. Because you got to figure there'll be some nights, you know, where you just don't feel like it. And you, the next night you can do twice as much hookers and twice as much blow. Yeah. <laughs> save up three days even it's like whoa it's gonna be a serious party only for the rich though you're adorable <clears throat> I kid I kid I kid I've never had a hooker and blow party what came out today what came out today what did come out today far cry Primal, I think, came out. Oh, was it released? I don't know if it, I don't know. I thought I saw somebody playing it, or if they were playing it, maybe. I don't know. Is there some sort of early alpha or or something, or is it actually released? I don't know. I don't know. Does it sound like the kind of game you would get? No. It's not the kind of game I'd get. 
Now, they had a game. It was a PC game. Oh, actually, I think it was on Xbox, too. I think it's called Ark. It's like a dinosaur game. Yeah. Where you can get a dinosaur steed if you want. Yeah, I think I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. I saw somebody playing it. Yeah, I I didn't go there. I still haven't got Rocket League on Xbox. I have it on PS4 when they gave it away for free. So did I. But that game is that game is really spreading word of mouth. I mean, it's really like, wow, they got a sleeper hit on their hands. Yep. Who would have thought, you know, giant soccer ball, you're these little cars zooming around in a stadium, cars playing soccer. Yep. I mean, geez. <laughs> Brilliant. That's such a simple comp concept. It's like, oh my God. It is. What about polo? You could have like, you know, you could be a preppy kind of guy and you could have your polo mallet and your your horse is going around the field and you're trying to whack that polo ball. <laughs> Wouldn't that be just as fun? I don't know. Never played the game. Well, I don't think a whole lot of Americans have ever actually played polo, seeing as it requires a horse, a team of other people with horses, and a giant ass field. Yeah. You kind of have, a lot of You gotta have coin. Kind of a like expensive like to get into that. But uh you could always do a video game, like a simulation of polo. That would be cool. You could wear, you know, you could wear a shirt with your collar up while you're playing the game to yep. really get into the action. Yep. <laughs> you could you could be drinking mint juleps. Our old friend Toby Pace is on her way. She sold her house. She's gonna move. She's gonna move. Toby, good for you. Good for you. All right, so uh, no more of that Yukon territory kind of stuff. Farm living. Farm living is life for me. Land spreading out so far and wide. Take Manhattan, just give me the countryside. <laughs> <laughs> you just got a hit on us, you dumbass. <laughs> the content ID system is going to fuck you with us. Blink that out. If more than one person that watches this video even has a fucking clue what that is, I'll be shocked. It'll be blinked over with an ad. It probably will. It'll pop up an ad right in the middle of it. Now, I remember we For watched... douches or something like that. We used to watch Green Acres when it was on live. I mean, not live, but first run, you know, when they were yep. still prime time. I think it came on right after the Beverly Hillbillies. Arnold Ziffel. <laughs> yep. Pig. Yep. Green Acres. This this podcast has has dive devolved. I mean, we're talking about sixty sitcoms now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's okay. Well let's uh let's save our energy for a really great show next week. What do you say? Yeah. I think we better. All right. All right. Another fine episode. I've been your co-host, Yam Juice. I've been your co-host, Flex. And... <laughs> that worked. That yeah, work. that was funny. I liked it. All right. I'll take it. All right, so there is... Uh, if you're still watching Bulletproof Underwear, episode number 190, just keep watching next week. 191 coming up with Tej Vegas Stories. There's only one thing left to do. Take us out, Mr. Flex. Come on.